three, two, one, go! All righty, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the, or to a, I guess, sneak peek of the next update to Sonic Project Wildfire, or should I say, Sonic the Hedgehog, the Storybook Chronicles. If you don't know what this is, this is an attempt by Lokster06 to recreate Sonic in the Secret Rings and Sonic in the Black Knight in Sonic Project 06. Uh, he asked me to go ahead and beta test some of the next update for him, and that includes playing through the new stage, Night Palace here, as well as test out Secret Rings Sonic. So, uh, as part of the mod, obviously, we get to play a Secret Ring Sonic here, and he has some of his own unique abilities uh, from Sonic and the Secret Rings, of course. We have available to us Speed Break and Time Break. So if I hold RT here, we get to do this little boost, which is very, very cool. I guess next up, we go for a walk on the air. This just keeps getting better and better. Hey, check out the view. Sonic, we don't have time for sightseeing. Very cool, throwing some cutscenes into it. The production value, as you can see, for Night Palace is incredible. Best we've seen so far when it comes to Project 06 stages. Very, very impressed by what Lokster's done. Very, very cool. Uh, what I did right here is act I actually activated Time Break, if I could speak with my words right. Um, but, I don't know, it's just really cool, even though I think that in terms of how well the Secret Ring stages translate to a game like Sonic Project 06, I personally have issues with the level design because I don't think it's too terribly fun, but I will say that the ability to play these stages, and especially with the quality that Lokster has made this stage. I know he's been working insanely hard on this one, and I know he's been really popping off on Twitter and stuff as well, uh, really showing off, off all this stuff that he's been making. Very, very cool. Now, Lokster, of course, is kind of the head of this mod project, but I don't want to discount the fact that Beats YT3, the uh, lead developer of the mod loader, has also helped on Project 06 since its inception has also helped vastly in terms of the programming for Secret Ring Sonic, like his new abilities and such, and even Chaos X has gotten in on it as well. In the current version of Secret Ring Sonic, he does not have, uh, he does not have the shader that Chaos X is making for it, and shader is just, uh, the graphics that are actually on Sonic that I believe it affects the lighting and such, but someone can correct me on that if they know more than I do. Um, so... Uh, it's pretty cool that Lokster's project has gotten so much attention that Beats and uh, Chaos X are willing to help on it. I will say, one of my biggest issues is the sound mixing is a little rough, as you can hear. I'll probably lower it in post. But uh, the uh, sounds are just a little bit loud on the sound effects. Normally, the uh, Sonic Project 06 like stage mods adhere to your audio settings that you have. But, uh, sometimes it's just really loud <laughs> with the added effects and stuff. And as you can see, of course, again, this is a beta version. The UI of Secret Ring Sonic still showing up in the results screen. But overall, really cool, and I hope you enjoyed that playthrough. But that's not all we got. One thing I wanted to show real quick is that when you select Secret Ring Sonic in the character selection... That's a pretty cool little intro to have. I love it. Let's go ahead and not only show off Night Palace, but we're going to do Sonic Project 06's first boss fight coming in the form of a mod. Let's fight the Eraser Jin. I've been waiting to finish things with you for a long time. You filthy rat. I'll shut that mouth of yours permanently. All right, here we go, the Eraser Jin. Um, I can't say I beta tested this a long time ago for Loke, and I can't say I'm going to do well in this boss fight. Um, I beta tested Night Palace very recently for him, but I haven't gotten the chance to uh, fight the Eraser Jin, so this is sort of my first-ish experience with it. Um, and wow. Let me tell you, I the last time I beta tested this was several months ago, and the production value is so much better. Oh my goodness, these fire waves really hurt. 
But hey, I would definitely say, especially without a template, the chaos is made for boss fights. This is a really, really good attempt. I'm very, very impressed by how well everything's working. Nothing's really breaking. The animations are a little bit choppy, but I mean, that's not really a big deal to me. I think the idea of being able to fight a boss in uh, Sonic uh, Project 06 is pretty damn cool. Uh, especially in this case, because the graphics just look so good. Like, the, you can see the reflection at the bottom of Night Palace here. The lighting is fantastic. Like, this definitely isn't, like, you know, a run-of-the-mill stage mod for a Sonic game. It's just so cool. <laughs> no! This isn't possible! Alrighty, Razor! Give up! You've lost! Very cool. Very cool as we finish up. Again, bit of a rudimentary boss fight. It's the first boss fight in Sonic Project 06, so I definitely can't be too mad about it. But uh, yeah, just kind of this short little video. Wanted to show you some of the things that are going to be cooking up in the next release of Sonic Project Wildfire, now known as the Storybook Chronicles. So let me know. I made this for YouTube because I wanted to show everybody at once. So if you like this format, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.